Hi, and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. Researchers have just published the results of a study in the journal Aging Cell showing evidence that type 2 diabetes does indeed accelerate aging. The paper begins with explanations of type 2 diabetes and epigenetic clocks, noting that principal compound versions of clocks may give stronger results because they filter out some noise. The researchers avoided first generation clocks entirely. They instead stuck to Grim Age and the Pheno Age clock, as well as Deneed in Place, which solely measures age acceleration. And there are links in the description below to the studies and articles I used to put this presentation together. Previous studies have found associations between type 2 diabetes and also aging. One study found that Deneed in Pace, which was trained on Western participants, also found accelerated aging associated with diabetes in Taiwanese people. An earlier study by the same researchers found connections between diabetes and aging as measured by other biological clocks. Also, more importantly, a previous study found evidence for a causal connection showing that diabetes does in fact accelerate aging. These same researchers now sought to find out and prove this connection more firmly. This study used data from the Chinese National Twin Registry, the CNTR. A total of 535 pairs were used. 380 of those pairs were identical, including 157 pairs that had both baseline and four or five year follow up data and 95 pairs of those were also identical. These participants were measured for diabetes related metrics such as fasting glucose and HbA1c along with potential co-founders such as smoking, education, BMI body mass index, alcohol consumption and also exercise. The wealth of the data allowed the researchers to conduct both cross-sectional and longitudinal analyses. On average, the participants were 50 years old and 10% of them had glycemic markers that characterized them as already having type 2 diabetes. Among the participants that had follow-up data, almost 12% had type 2 diabetes at baseline and 17% of them had it at the follow-up. In the cross-sectional study, the researchers found that a couple of measurements related to diabetes as expected were strongly associated with age acceleration as measured by all three biological clocks, most notably though, the phenoage clock. The people with excess HbA1c had an extra three years of aging on average, according to this particular clock. Fasting glucose also had a very strong association. Diabetes itself was less strongly associated and did not reach statistical significance in any of the clocks. A direct longitudinal study did not reveal much more additional information either. However, a cross lag study, which compares measurements at follow up and at baseline, revealed some very interesting metrics. In that, the people which had higher fasting glucose, higher HbA1c, or higher triglyceride and glucose that was listed as TYG at baseline were likely to have higher age acceleration according to the needing pace at the follow-up. The TYG index was also associated with higher acceleration according to the Grim Age clock at the follow-up. When the analysis was broken down into its individual strata, the associations were found to be significant only in men and only in people who had lower levels of education. However, this education stratification decreased the number of people in these subgroups, which therefore led to less statistical power. While the identical twin pairs eliminated the possibility of different genetic factors leading to different outcomes, the researchers noted that their relatively small number, particularly in the group that had both baseline and follow-up, also hampered this study's statistical power. That said, they were able to come to multiple conclusions. Two of the most notable being that Dunedin Pace is uniquely sensitive to glycemic metabolism and that these results are not affected in any way by blood cell composition. And why this study provides solid evidence that diabetes does accelerate epigenetic aging regardless of the co-founders, it is still not yet fully proven. And they say further research should be conducted to verify this evidence. Let me know what you think of this study in the comment section below. And I'd be interested to find out if you, like me, 
take metformin as a preventative to stop you getting into full type 2 diabetes.